Hi Virgo, Rose Burnett here from Mind Body Soul Balance and this is your mid-month reading for June 2018. It is a general reading, take from it what you will, whatever resonates, yeah, leave the rest. Uh, if you want a personal reading with me where you get to ask your own questions that you want answers to with a tarot and oracle, I'm going to put the link on this video and in the description box below, yeah. And uh, if you want to win a personal reading with me, there's a monthly competition on my website. I'll pop the link below. Yeah, just head over there. If you subscribe to my blog, which is free, you get some more great stuff from me. You go into the monthly draw to win a 30 minute personal reading with me. Yeah. All right. I'm going to do something different for you mid month. I'm going to do a nine card spread on the past, present and future, as well as your general energies. And I got a special deck today. I actually bought it this morning. Um, I'm always excited when that when I do that, yeah, because it's like having a birthday gift all over again. Um, it is the Lightwork Oracle. So we're going to be tapping more into your divinity and your higher spirituality with guidance, yeah. You're watching me on the tarot, so you already tapped into your spirituality. We can take it a bit higher, yeah, see what messages come out. I am working with some crystals today. So we've got double protection. We've got hematite as well as black tourmaline, yeah. There is jade. I'm going to show it to you. I, I lost my jade crystal. I've just brought a new one this morning. I'll show it to you. It's kind of cool. Yeah, really cool. Um, also working with moonstone, citrine for success, clear uh, crystal quartz to uh, amplify everything in the room and amethyst. Yeah, have I got everything? Yeah, I did. I did. All right, let's get started. So I'm going to be doing your nine card spread with the angel tarot deck and uh, Let's see what comes out for you, Virgo. What do you need to know in the next two weeks? Okay, so we pulled the Queen of Water, and it's all about uh, relationships um, basically deepening to a new level, yeah? Trust yourself, trust your intuition, um, particularly when, with relationship, if there's any relationship issues or thoughts about relationships in your life. Mostly your love relationship is the message, yeah? It's also about taking care of yourself and others, yeah? Being more empathetic, kind, patient. All right, it's going to take you a lot further. All right, let's have a look and see what your challenge is. A clear message for Virgo, please. There we go. Mm. Okay, so you pull the seven of earth. So seeds well planted is what it's saying so what the challenge is that there's currently a pause you might feel a little stuck whether it's in your relationships or your career um leading to some unnecessary worry if you have a look the trunk of a tree is just like in a massive frown and yet all around him are these beautiful seeds and little angels and um yeah fairies yeah so stop worrying it thing but um yeah that's the challenge all right let's have a look and see what the basis of the situation is yeah what does Virgo need to know? There we go. I think some clear answers coming through. You pulled the six of air. Um, if you have a look at this, it's a horse in a boat heading out, um, about to head over a waterfall, actually. Things are looking up. The end of a difficult situation. The point may possibly be taking a trip. Yeah. Things have been challenging. They're going to lighten up. All right, let's have a look at the recent past. Mm, okay. You pull the night of fire. So lots of things happening at once. There's a sudden event coming in that you that or that came in in the recent past that um, you've had to do some decision making around. Um, think things through carefully. Yeah, evaluate everything. But it's saying timing is of the essence. So you might be dealing with a challenge right now. Not going to apply to everybody. All right, let's have a look at the present, yeah? What is it that Virgo needs to know? Oh, beautiful. You've been worrying. Stop worrying, yeah? You've got the ten of water. It basically says a happy and contented family life. Your financial and emotional needs will be met. Uh, you are surrounded by trustworthy relationships, yeah? Take your foot off the worry button, Virgo. All right, this is the near future. Mm. You've pulled um, Archangel Michael, the Emperor. Yeah, it's all about using your uh, leadership abilities, um, your organisational skills, uh, your logic. It's all your, your right side of brain, yeah, your masculine side of brain. It applies to women and men, yeah. 
taking more of a leadership role in the future. That can be with relationships. It could also be in your career path as well. All right, let's see uh, your power in the situation, what you bring to the table. What does Virgo need to know? Oh, there we go. Yeah, okay. You've pulled um, Archangel Metatron, the dreamer. It's all about taking a leap of faith, following your dreams, your heart's desires, whatever lights you up, yeah. Unexpected opportunities coming your way should you choose to accept them. Yeah, always takes courage and faith and trust. All right, what is the influence of the people around you? What does Virgo need to know? What a clear message, please. Hmm. Holding on to it. What does Virgo need to know? There we go. Mm. Okay. So the message is here, nine of earth. So it's about enjoying life's luxuries, taking time out for self, time alone, successful self-employment. So this could be your partner. It could be also pertaining to yourself because this is your reading, yeah. Um, it could also mean if we're talking about other people in your life, maybe, maybe splurging a little bit on them and pampering them for all of their support. Um, but also just know that if you're in your own business, it's the time of successful success. Yeah, you do have seeds well planted or it's leading to that. All right, let's have a look and see what your hopes and fears are. What does Virgo need to know? Hmm. A clear message, please. No, still not a clear message. Oh, <laughs> I love, sometimes I love the angels kind of sense of humor because I said not a clear message, it's literally flew out. <laughs> okay. So in terms of hopes and fears, you've got justice coming. Archangel Raguel. So if you're going through anything legal, if you've been going through challenges, just know that it is going to be resolved. Divine's got your back. It will be handled in a fair and just manner, yeah. Um, also stand up for what you believe in is right. Yeah, don't back down. Particularly in terms of your hopes and your dreams, yeah. All right, what is the outcome? Um, I'm actually, there's two here. I'm going to pull them both. Okay. All right, this is interesting. We're talking about challenges. Um... There's two challenges that are facing you in terms of, because there's lots of indications here, right, that you've been worrying, but that everything's going to be fine. Okay. The first one that came out is the three of air. Great sadness. Uh, for those of you that this is affecting, you need to take some time out to heal and look after yourself. Be totally selfish in that regard. Yeah. The other thing that came out is fears surrounding money. I'm not surprised because you've, been getting quite a few reassurances there to stop worrying, yeah. Um, uncertain self-employment, and yet you've got successful employment coming. So this is yourself holding yourself back, yeah, fear and worry. That's okay, it can happen. The advice on here is to um, reach, out and reach out and accept help from others, yeah. And also to forgive yourself in terms of heart healing that you need to do. It's not going to apply to everybody. You know who it is, yeah. All right, let's see what else comes out for you. All right, let's have a look at your general energies now. I'm going to pull you some guidance from the Goddess Guidance deck. I have to say, it is one of my favourites. I do love it. And let's see what you need to know, Virgo. Mm. you got to stop worrying, right? got so many cards to reassure you to stop worrying you just pulled Lakshmi bright future it basically says stop worrying your future is going to be fine yeah how cool <laughs> pretty cool <laughs> I think it is anyway all right Virgo here we go mm. yeah Ishtar boundaries this has come out for just about three out of the four readings I've done so far so in the next two weeks uh, if people are going to arc up in your circle, if people are going to diss your projects, your ideas, what you stand up for, what you believe in, put healthy boundaries in place with them. Yeah. From a place, place of compassion and love if you can. If not, just firmness. Yeah. Yeah. 
Uh, you, de you deserve love, respect, joy, happiness in your life and to follow your own dreams. Yeah, so stand up for yourself. Also, if they're trying to take more of your energy, so if they're trying to, trying to energy sap you, <laughs> put some boundaries in place. All right, what else does Virgo need to know? There's two that come out for you here. Oh, yeah. You pulled segment. Be strong, okay? You're stronger than you think you are. Stand in that strength. Be empowered, yeah? It's going to lead you to a happy outcome. Mm. Something that might lighten you up a bit is uh, getting involved in the arts, being creative. You've got Sarasvati, yeah? Expressing yourself through creative activities. Having that time out, time alone. Doesn't have to be music, anything creative. It's going to balance your masculine and your feminine energies out, men and women. Yeah. All right, pull you one more. It's came out for one other sign, which is kind of interesting. You pulled Ishtel, Ishtel, medicine woman, basically that you're a channel for divine healing powers. Not going to apply to everybody. You know who you are. Yeah. Means your spirituality is rising. Some of you have a special gift. Yeah. See what else comes out for you. Some of you may be more practical and go, that's not my path. And that's totally cool. All right. I'm going to bring you some guidance from the crystal reading deck. So if you've got some healing to do, uh, we're going to get an answer here, yeah, because it's a healing deck. All right. What does Virgo need to know? Mm, okay. Under Lakshmi, bright future. You've pulled pre night. Trust. Just trust and know that it's coming. Okay. You don't have to control the outcome. You don't have to push yourself too hard. You just need to go with the flow. Everything's happening for a reason right now. Yeah, if it's a delay. It's meant to be a delay for, for a specific reason. Yeah. Mm. Under boundaries, you've got new might, healer, the healer card. Okay, a couple of meanings. It can mean that you are a healer. You've also got Medicine Woman, which says that you have the divine channel of healing, yeah. But it can also mean seeking out a healer, particularly if people are um, crossing your boundaries. If you've got weak boundaries, particularly with family, that's how you've grown up, you haven't had great examples. It's about seeking out a healer to help you through that process. It can be energy healing, sound therapy, any sort of healing. It can be psychology counseling, yeah. Whatever you feel you need. Yeah, I love Reiki. I love all the natural therapies. Lots of things you can do to heal, heal yourself too. Ah, oh, two just blew out. Oh, okay. Ah, uh, we've pulled the Soul Connection Crystal, which is the Lover's card, the Master Teacher card, which means it's sitting under Be Strong, so um, you're stronger than you think you are. In terms of that aspect of this reading, it means that if you feel like you haven't got the strength, for a relationship to find that soulmate, you do. Um, if you've been going through difficulties in a relationship, stick with it because it's the possibility is definitely there that they are your soulmate. You need to just make a bit more effort and get through the whatever challenges you've been facing. Um, if you've gone through a really hard time in love and it's out of your life, it's out of your life to let a soulmate in, yeah? But you've got to do some healing on yourself. And the reason I say that as you pulled Malachi, healing, you need some healing, yeah. Quite a few cards here to suggest that. Clearly not going to be applying to everybody because some of you could have already done a lot of healing, yeah. What it does say, it's sitting under the arts, which means that that is going to be a practice. You're tapping back into the things that you did as a child that let you up. If all you're doing is working, um, you need to take some time for self and do something creative just to fire yourself up and find some joy and passion, yeah? It can be quite therapeutic and healing for you. All right. Did tell you that the messages would come out tonight. Mm. We've also pulled fairy stone fertility. This means that your ideas and your projects are blessed, yeah? The fact you've also got bright future, yeah? So if you've got ideas and projects you want to launch, launch them. If you're already doing that, you did get the um, like the one about um, you've already planted the seeds, yeah? So just keep doing what you're doing. Don't give up. Okay. I'm going to pull you some guidance from the Nature's Whispers deck and let's see what comes up for you, Virgo. 
What does Virgo need to know in the next two weeks? Under bright future and trust, you've just pulled hope and happiness. Look at this. It's so beautiful. This is what's coming if you trust. Yeah. Yeah. Overarching message. Just don't worry. Okay. Kind of hilarious. <laughs> Could be a stronger message, to be honest with you. <laughs> okay. Uh, you've also got culmination of vision. It's sitting under the boundaries card. So you know what it is that you want to achieve. You know it in your heart. Just follow it. Yeah, follow it. Mm. Okay. Under the soulmate card, just know that you are worth it. All right. If you've gone through a hard time with love, know you're worthy of a soulmate connection. You know that you're worthy of great love. Um, if you're in a relationship, you're not feeling so great in it. You need to lift up your own self-worth self-love yeah so that you can receive that love that's there for you yeah okay i've got a big smile on my face because i'm so excited to read these cards for you yeah so i'm going to pull you some guidance from the uh light workers oracle deck it's by lana fairchild which um if you've seen any of my other readings i also use her deck on rumi as well as kun yin which give the most beautiful messages um this is about connecting to your higher spirituality yeah so let's see what comes out for you virgo <sighs> okay it's two it was like literally it was like pulling it was like pulling something really hard um that kind of felt like they, they had to come out together so let's uh let's read them together yeah hopefully i'm going to pronounce this okay and have a look at the images on here they're so beautiful it says macabre spiritual protection it's under the healing card by the way oh yeah this came up for one other sign it's the first ray of power beautiful and it's actually sitting under medicine woman as well as fairy stone for your projects yeah all right let's have a look and see what they say what is the guidance for you virgo here we go pull this one up here one more time so beautiful have a look at this gorgeous And what it says is, this is the uh, Makerba spiritual protection, yeah? Be open to receive in a way to gain empowerment, strength, and all manner of assistance. To enhance receptivity, it can be helpful to declutter and cleanse your energy field. This allows for that which is not rightfully yours to be shed, and sometimes this will include the disowned thoughts and feelings of others. When you re release these thoughts and feelings, the spaciousness will grow within you. Then you can receive more of what is rightfully meant for you, your divine good in a way. Kind of interesting. One other sign got this card. It'll be interesting to see if they got both cards. I can't quite remember. But um, yeah, wow. It means the energy is flowing through for a few signs on this. Yeah, a few star signs. An open, sensitive person can become easily overloaded energetically from physical pain to emotional and psychological tension. An overload does not feel good. You may feel like you're carrying others on your back or in your head. The added weight can drag your naturally light vibration down into anguish, doubt, fear or despair. Your inner vision too may be obscured by the overload. This can make it hard to discern what is yours and what belongs to another. Whether experiencing overload to your system is an unusual occurrence for you, or you have a tendency to absorb and process others' energies, you will benefit from a spiritual cleansing. Afterwards, you may feel less inclined to connect with particular people or work on certain ideas, even if they seem very important before the cleanse. This means you are freeing yourself from others' input and discerning the true priorities of your own heart. I'm going to pull something up for you. Ishtar, boundaries, yeah, boundaries with other people. 
To accept a spiritual cleansing now, repeat the invocation below. We'll get that. We'll get to that in a minute, yeah. And then relax for as long as you need. And um, it basically says to hold this, this oracle card to you, but it's mine. You can't have it. Yeah? But just imagine it. Or my other suggestion to you is if you've got some crystals, hold one of your favourite crystals to your heart, or just put your hands. And in Reiki, how we do it, right? We always make sure that our thumbs are in. Um, and over the heart, we put the two hands together, but we bring them down just underneath. Yeah, I like that. Or you can just do it. You can put it on your higher heart up here as well. Do that if you want to get some additional energy, healing energy. Yeah. Um, you can do that for as long as feels natural to you, um, even up to a half an hour or more. Yeah. You can rest for several minutes, it says, or even more. If you fall asleep during your cleansing, this can allow for even a deeper clearing. Pay attention to what you sense immediately after your cleansing. It is a time when you may become very aware of just who you are and what has been draining you. And be able to lovingly but firmly say, you must leave my energy field now and not return without my express verbal permission. Of my own free will, so be it. This oracle is also confirmation for those of you that have been questioning if a relationship, person or situation has been draining you or transferring negative energies or thoughts into your energy field. Your insights are correct and you can now use this energy clearing process to remo remove the cords of attachment and release any negative energy from that person or situation. Um, you've probably seen me do this before, right? It's in Reiki. I'm an advanced Reiki practitioner, right? How we clear our energies and cut the cords, energetic cords to people or to situations or things, yeah? As we picture them, and uh, our chakras run down here, but our heart chakra is here and our higher heart chakra, yeah? Uh, we just get our hands and we cross them like that across the body. We do that three times. Um, and we also do it at the back, yeah, because we've got to protect our ego at the back. So you take your arms behind you and do that same motion three times, yeah. Um, you can do that as many, many times as you find helpful. Okay, so the invocation says, I call upon unconditionally loving divine protection. The sacred chamber of light, the Merkaba of divine light, is around me now, and I choose of my own free will under divine authority and grace to release any and all connections, content and contaminants that do not serve me through unconditional love. I choose of my own free will to take my life journey into the most joyful and loving way possible. I open to divine grace for cleansing and protection of my integrity at all times. I am free to simply be in the truth of me. So important. May all beings be blessed and protected. May all beings be happy and free. And through my own free will, so be it. Such a great message. All right. Let's now have a look at this one, which is so beautiful. The first ray of power. Number one, by the way. Just saying. What it says, Virgo, is the first ray of power is an energy of conscious destruction. It can be used in a healthy way to eliminate the past and allow for a fresh start. The first ray also carries the frequency of leadership. It can assist you to stand in the truth of your own light so others can find their way by it. It helps to strengthen your willpower to accomplish any task you choose. The Ascended Master, El Moriah, brings you his particular blessing and encourages you to believe in your own strength and take the initiative on what matters to you most. It's going to pull something up for you. <laughs> Segment, be strong, yeah. If you are confused about which path to take or whether to continue in a certain relationship, course of action or lifestyle choice, the first ray of power will clarify matters for you. When it moves through our lives, whatever is holding us back will be removed either through circumstances seemingly beyond our control or by our, by our own actions based on a sudden inner knowing. When the first ray of power is indicated, 
a long-term plan that was once important may suddenly seem as though it needs to change or even be released altogether. Or you may suddenly get the motivation to go for something that you have been dreaming about for a long time. Once this ray affects your life, your understanding of what is helpful and what is not can change overnight. The changes will feel very true, freeing and helpful. Those people, dreams and opportunities that remain in your life afterwards have survived the onslaught of divine will. This means the universe is confirming that they were meant to be part of your journey at this time. The first ray of power also relates to matters of leadership and politics. So be open to how your spiritual journey might be helpful in the world of politics, whether that be through aligning yourself with the cause that resonates deeply in your heart or through bringing a more open and discerning viewpoint into the often deceptive world of politics. Speaking your truth will be very helpful at this time, not only for you, but also for those around you who are willing to hear your voice and make their own choices from a clearer place within. So don't be afraid to be heard. If your life purpose involves either driving a meaningful political cause forward or assuming a position of leadership in some way, you'll feel the truth of this and be given encouragement from the Ascended Master El Morea to trust yourself as a leader with heart and awareness. Not going to apply to everybody, yeah? Finally, when this ray makes its way into your life, it's time to accept the loving gauntlet thrown down by the universe and take your hands off the controls of your life. Detach and be curious. The universe will show you exactly what you need and remove what you do not. If something or someone is no longer a part of your life, it will be so that a more beautiful, truthful, satisfying version of what you are surrendering can come into your world. Remember, the universe wants you to live the best, most beautiful life experience for you. Trust it enough to let it happen now. Beautiful. And the last part of your reading, Virgo, is an invocation which says, I now accept of my own free will, the blessing and grace of the first ray of power in my life. Through unconditional love and divine mercy, I surrender my life into the loving hands of the universe to align me with my higher will and the most beautiful expression on my life journey. I call upon the loving assistance of the genuine ascended master, El Moraya, in all aspects of this process and ask that the first ray of power be expressed in ways that serve the greatest good on this planet, that all beings may be walk their true divine path through divine grace. So be it. Cool. I hope you enjoyed this reading. If you did, please like, share, comment and subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you've already subscribed, you're rocking awesome. Don't forget, if you want a personal reading with me, you know what to do. Links on this video, yeah? Um, and if you want to win a personal reading with me, follow through to my blog, opt into the monthly competition, yeah, and uh, you have the chance to go into that draw. And for now, much love, much light. Namaste.